More than 70 people have now been killed in the wildfires in California. More than 1,000 are still unaccounted for. Tonight, I spoke with Rhode Island native Jackie Ruizzo, who said she's grateful she and her husband now live out there close to their sons, even though they can't return home. We are the lucky ones. Lucky might not be the first word you'd use to describe Jackie Ruizzo and her family's dire situation. This is all that remains of her son's home in California. Originally from Lincoln, Rhode Island, Jackie and her husband have only lived in Magalia, California for a year. Unfortunately, Magalia is right next to Paradise, one of the towns hit hardest by wildfire. The Ruizos were basically just like us, no experience with this natural disaster. And I said, what are we doing? And Magalia feels like we will be trapped. And they said, get out. It's like, where do I go? They said, follow the traffic. Over five hours driving up the mountain, they got to a safe location only to be evacuated again. They just learned their house was spared, but the Ruizos are renting an apartment, unsure when they'll be able to actually return home. Jackie said it could be worse. Walmart breaks my heart. I, it's a refugee camp. It's all tents. And there's people with their children and families, and they're sleeping in tents, and the rooms look safe. And they have no help. They can't go to the shelters. The flu is going through the shelters. Jackie wanted to share her story to help people thousands of miles away from the devastation understand just how many people are in desperate need of help. And Jackie said even where they are now, the smoke makes it difficult to breathe outside and it darkens the sky. She said they do have fire insurance, but that only covers the house. Her son lost all of his belongings inside. We have a link on how you can help them and all those impacted by the fires on our website at WPRI.com.